commitment. Wow. Such a big word. Ten letters. C-O-M-M-I-T-M-E-N-T. It's a large word for a reason. A lot is involved with that word commitment. Everyone wants you to have it or show it. College coaches want high school athletes to commit to their program. Couples pledge a level of commitment to each other when they marry. People fear commitment because they view it as the end-all be-all when it's so far from the truth. Commitment is a process. It's a vehicle in which you ride to your destination. Do you need examples of what commitment really means? Commitment is going back into a burning building because you made a pledge to get everyone out. Commitment is being a senior wide receiver with your national championship hopes fading and deciding that today will not be the day that you lose. In trouble. Got a block behind him. Going to throw on a run. Complete to the 25. To the 30. Lindsey's got 35, 40. Lindsey's got 45, 50. 45, 40. Run, Lindsey. 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Lindsey's got. Lindsey's got. Lindsey's got. Commitment is knocking out a grown man at 20 years old to become the youngest heavyweight champion ever. And only taking 91 seconds to become the youngest undisputed heavyweight champion in boxing history. First time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. Six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It's all over. That is commitment. Like I said, there's a reason why people fear commitment. It's hard work. It can be a matter of life or death. But if you're not willing to pay the ultimate price for something that you strongly believe in, then how are you ever going to win at anything? Whether it's sports, education, or life, it takes commitment. If you tell me to my face that you're committed, I tend not to believe you because commitment is seen and not heard. So if you ask me, Emery, how committed are you? Well, you better check my track record. and you'll see how committed I am. I'm Emory Hunt, and this is what commitment means to me.